Tuesday Talks with Corey. Happy Tuesday, everyone. It's me, Corey, from Whitehall Parks and Rec. Today, instead of doing Skins and Skulls, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be reading my favorite children's book, Pangy the Pangolin, by Marika Price and Zach Spotulski. Now, I know a lot of people don't know what a pangolin is, so before we read the book, we're going to learn just a little bit more about pangolins. So what exactly is a pangolin? The best way to describe it is it's a scaly anteater, and so it, its whole body is covered in scales, and those scales are made up of keratin, which is what makes up our fingernails and it makes up our hair. It also makes up turtle shells, and, and they're the only mammals known to, to have these keratin-covered scales. They have these long tongues that they use to uh, dig for ants and termites. Uh, some species, of which there are eight, have tongues that are double the length of their whole body, which is super cool in my opinion. And they've got these really cool prehensile tails that they can use to like hang on things um, as well. So pangolins are super cool. And they're super endangered. So all eight species, uh, four of which are in Africa and four of which are in Asia, are, are threatened. They're on the IUCN list of endangered species. Um, IUCN is the International Union for Conservation of Nature. And all of them are, are endangered. This is mostly because they are the most trafficked mammal in the world. So they're hunted for their meat and for their scales. These things are thought to have restorative benefits in traditional uh, Eastern medicine that can cure anything from like hysteria to high fevers to even deafness. Now we've done research and it turns out that they don't actually have any restorative benefits. But they are such a staple in Eastern medicine that it's, it's very difficult to um, s slow down that trade and to stop the trade. There have been reported cases of over two tons of, of pangolin scales found at, on shipping uh, containers that were making their way into China. So one of the reasons I'm reading Pangi the Pangolin it's just to bring awareness to pangolins. And I hope you all find pangolins as interesting as I do. If you have any more questions on pangolins, I would love to answer them for you. But without further ado, I think we'll just start reading the book now. Pangi the Pangolin by Marika Price and Zach Spitulski. Once, there was a little pangolin who lived in a land far away. Her name was Panky, and she played every day. She loved to dig deep holes and climb tall trees. She loved to swing on branches and roll in leaves. But something was missing in Panky's life. Panky wanted a friend. Panky told her mama, I'm off to find someone friendly, anywhere my paws can take me. I'll go far and wide, high and low. I'll go anywhere my scales can go. Mama told her baby Pangy, Oh, I'll miss you, my dear. Be true to yourself. There's nothing to fear. Your scales will protect you every day, and your heart will lead you the right way. So Pangy went off to the North Pole to meet the penguins. Pangy said to the penguins, Hi, I'm Pangy the Pangolin, and we're nearly name twins. Will you be my friend? The penguins said to Pangy, Squawk, squawk! We've never seen so many scales before. We don't need new friends. So Pangy went off to the forest to meet the bears. 
Pangy said to the bears, Hi, I'm Pangy the penguin. I think we'd be a good fr pair. Will you be my friend? The bear said to Pangy, Roar! Roar! We've never seen a tongue like that before. We don't need to do friends. Finally, Pangy went off to the farm to meet the pigs. Pangy said to the pigs, Hi, I'm Pangy the pangolin, and my tail can do tricks. Will you be my friend? The pig said to Pangy, Wink, wink! We've never seen a tail like that before. We don't need to be friends. Peggy went home to her mama and cried. Mama, no one wants to be friends with me. Just look at me and you'll see. It's because of my tongue and my tail. It's because I'm made of so many scales. Mama said to her baby Peggy, If you look a little closer, you'll find things that make you different make you one of a kind. What matters most lies deep inside. Let your sweet soul be your guide. Peggy went back to all the same places to see the same faces. Peggy said to the penguin, My scales keep me safe and they can help you too. The penguin said, Squawk, squawk! Thanks, Peggy. We'd love to be friends with you. Peggy said to the bears, my tongue helps me reach high places, and it can help you too. The bear said, Roar, roar! Thanks, Pangy. We'd love to be friends with you. Pangy said to the pigs, My tail helps me play, and it can help you too. The pig said, Oink, oink! Thanks, Pangy. We'd love to be friends with you. Pangy made lots of new friends. Once she looked a little more, she saw what really mattered. Helping each other is what friends are for. But she still had one more place to go. Home. Peggy learned she was exactly as she should be, and knew her mama was right all along too. Because being different is awesome. It makes you wonderfully you. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed listening to Pangy the Pangolin as much as I enjoyed reading. If you learned something new about pangolins, or if it was your first time hearing about them, let me know in the comments down below. Tomorrow is Wacky Wednesday, and we've got a great art activity planned for everyone. Well, this is your favorite parks programmer, Corey, reminding you to stay safe out there.